Hi, this is Pastor Dan coming to you from uh, the sanctuary, and just want to let you know that I've missed seeing you all as a church. Just want to give you a quick update on uh, where we're at as a church in the middle of this um, this pandemic. So I just want to say it right up off the bat that our church is strong and resilient, and I'm seeing the strength of our church really coming out during this uh, difficult time. I'm seeing our members. Um, continuing to meet even across live stream and phone and I love uh, when I call somebody and they said oh I've already heard from two other uh, two other members of Northwest so I love the community that's happening keep it up keep encouraging each other keep reaching out to make sure everybody's okay um, we spent a lot of this week just canvassing our church to make sure that everyone's okay so far we don't have any immediate needs. There may be some needs in the very near future, but within our congregation, uh, everyone's doing fine. We still have no cases of the COVID-19 virus in our congregation or even suspicions of it. So I just want to let you know that. Um, we put up this week, uh, uh, or actually last week, put out a, a link to an updated directory just so that you have all of the current information to stay up to date. So if you want to reach out to people, you have a chance to do that. Uh, we protect your privacy, so you'll see that in today's uh, newsletter as well. So um, when you try to open it, it's password protected. So just send us an email and we'll shoot that password right back to you as quick as possible. We just wanna protect your information. Um, so many of our members have offered assistance. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm gonna include in our e-news this week just a link to a lot of community groups that are organizing. We discovered there's a lot of neighborhood groups that uh, are organizing that uh, have blocks covered. And so I'll send that uh, link today so that you have a chance to maybe connect with some other organizations. Uh, we just want to say today, too, that um, we support the recommendations and uh, that we're hearing from our local and federal authorities and just encourage you to uh, uh, limit your contact and stay, um, uh, stay as isolated as you can during this time. My family and I have been getting out, taking walks in the morning, and uh, it's not that we're totally isolated, but um, definitely trying to limit the exposure of this virus. And this is one of those unique times when maybe you feel like you should be out doing something, but uh, one of the things that first we all have to do is to stop the spread of this virus just by limiting the contact that we have with others. And I just want to suggest to you that, that as much as you want to get out and engage and go about what you normally do, uh, let's, let's love our world by making that sacrifice um, to, to limit contact with others so that others uh, don't receive this, this terrible disease. Uh, just an update on our shutdown. Um, we are uh, following the uh, district public school system calendar. And so we're going to go ahead and shut down our campus through March 29th, Sunday, March 29th. There'll be no service here as well. We'd already closed down March 22nd. So um, just to let you know that, but please tune in live stream 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings. Uh, as of right now, it may change, but as of right now, we're still bringing in a good portion of our worship team to do full uh, service so that it'll look very familiar to you. Um, uh, our campus is being deep cleaned uh, this week and next week. And so when you do come back to worship, I just want to let you know that we're taking the steps to make sure that our facility is disinfected and uh, we'll keep cleaning it over these coming weeks to make sure that it's uh, um, germ-free, not completely germ-free, but as much as possible. So I um, just want to say if you're wearing thin and just want to talk or need some support, I just ask you please to reach out. I don't want uh, you to suffer in silence. Please know that we're here to care for you. And so reach out and either myself or one of our staff or leaders will make sure that we're in touch with you and give you the support that you need. You might just need somebody to, to talk to right now. So please reach out. And certainly if you have material needs, whether it's financial or groceries or or whatever it is, reach out to us so that we can make sure that those needs are taken care of. Or if you know of a friend or a neighbor that uh, may have some of those needs, let us know about that as well. Um, during this time, um, we're very fortunate. 
I've told our leaders that God really has blessed us in terms of having so many of our systems in place uh, to really confront this, this epidemic head on. And so even our giving, 70% of our giving comes through our online giving portal. Uh, but that still means about 30% of our giving that we usually receive on a Sunday morning, uh, we're not receiving. So I just want to encourage you to either uh, mail that into the church or uh, to to discover the brave new world of online giving. Uh, we've been using that for several years and uh, never had any security issues. It works great. We have uh, so many of our members that have done it for years. So if you haven't discovered it, uh, maybe now is a good time to do that so that you can keep giving. And please keep giving because uh, we fully expect that as a church we're going to be uh, reaching out and helping to support both our members that are in need as well as some of those in our community so that we want to make sure that we do that from a good financial place of stability. Uh, finally, just I want to say a word about outreach. We've been looking at ways to reach out into our community. Um, and that's, we've decided, is going to be a marathon and not necessarily a sprint. And so we've uh, begun those conversations and explored options. And um, we'll be getting back to you real soon with what we as a church really want to focus on uh, reaching our community. And finally, I just want to suggest and encourage you to, to please pray for our leaders and our city. Pre please pray for those that are serving on the front lines. Some in our congregation are in the medical community and out there serving. Thank you for what you do. Uh, some in our church community are part of um, first responders and, and those that have to work and be out there. So please lift them up in prayer. Uh, but I just wanted you to know today that uh, we miss our gatherings, we miss being with you, but we as a church, uh, we're not a building. So I'm sitting here in this building, but this is not the church. This is a facility. Uh, our church is still a church, even when we can't come together all, all at one time. And our church is strong and caring for one another and caring for our neighbors. And I encourage you, keep being the church. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.